Happy Life Day, everyone. Well, belated Life Day. <laughs> this is my orb. This is this is my Life Day orb. Like, legit. Life Day. You can't see that, but it says Life Day. It has arabesque all over it. I got a Disneyland from Life Day. With my Life Day shirt. So, I have something for you. You can see it right there right there as well as like either up there or down there um, because you can read the title I have dark sabers I have two of them I have the Hasbro dark series um, whatever long name dark saber like Hasbro dark series dark saber like oh, come on think of a better name and then I have the Legacy Disney Dark Saber. Um, which one should I show you first? As I put my finger in my nose, because it got lost on the way to my eyeballs. I don't know. I don't have the box anymore for the Hasbro Dark Series Dark Saber. Please think of a better branding name. Okay, so I guess I'll start with. The legacy lightsaber dark saber box a little dusty because i've been waiting and procrastinating filming this i wish they actually did a better quality box in a fucking cardboard box right my don't listen to my language um probably should have dusted this off before because it's just been sitting on my cabinet waiting to be filmed for you guys because I've been procrastinating this because I don't like the box. And it is, it has a magnet. I did think of that. But it's cardboard instead of like the cute boxes. So here it is. The Disney Legacy Duck Saber. Ah! Look at all the pieces. It also comes to the side saying Dark Saber blade is located underneath the foam bold print big so you don't just take it and throw the box away and be like yo where is my things so here it is i think this is shit quality by the way flat out shit but it's nice shit more paper it says things it this one comes with a stand so they were paying attention it comes with like hardware and other stuff. So you can like put the stand together without following directions. And like have problems. You know, more Disney DIY stuff. Um, Tim can do that. Cause he's standing here looking at me awkwardly. It also has the little things that hold it on, which you see the dark saber. Oh, here it is! I found it. And then the blade. Ugh, get out of the box. This is a beautiful saber. It's nice, but it's shit. Like, it's so light. Bam, bam, bam. It, I feel like it's lighter than some of the lightsabers. Um, it's metal. Some sort of metal. But it's metal. It's not plastic. Um, but it's so light. Like, you wouldn't think that this would be a dark saber. Um, it has, like, no features compared to, like, I guess none of the legacy lightsabers have features. It has a button up here for problems. Nothing moves on it. So let me just like shove this in. Ah, that's right, I can't. I have to remove stuff. Forgot how to do that. There you go. You've got to remove the top and you shove it in 
Like this way. Like that. So here's the dark saber. I know, I'm not talking about this one a lot because I feel like they they had oh a box. Oh my gosh. They had something so good to go with and they just like tried to rush it. Like I mean it's nice that you can't put the blade in the wrong way. But You have your button right here, which is really the only thing that you can do. But it doesn't even light up all the way. Like, they missed some of the mechanics. They missed that mechanic up there. But it's fine. Like, for a display saber, it's fine. And like, if you're my dog and going crazy is fine. I don't know. This is like the most wonkiest. Yeah, let me go the other way. It will. The most wonkiest stand ever. Like you couldn't have designed a better stand. So great. It does its job. But then we have Are you gonna fall? Yes, you are gonna fall. I don't trust you in this stand. <laughs> then we have the dark saber. It's trying to be, which is the Hasbro dark, dark saber. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. Which is this one. This one is heavy. The blade is actually black. Um, this one's pretty cool. The stand is just like the Palpatines. It's nice. It's It will hold it, unlike this one, that it just slides out. Like they could have just made a little divot for it to sit in, but they didn't. Um, this one you have to do a little bit of DUI, DUI, DIY uh, with connecting it. You can't just like shove it in there. So I need the Allen wrench. For this puppy dog. So I gotta unscrew all of the bits for this. This is so heavy, it just feels better. It feels like something you wanna grip on and like fight with. Like this is like your beginning katana and this is like the one you go to war with. Like, granted, katanas are light and that's not a good reference. But like, this is, this is a heavy duty thing. So this slides off. And then, magic happens. This piece comes off. So your display piece comes out. There is a bright light in there that I put my eyeballs in. This one slides right in. Then you gotta put your sheath in. Make sure you put it in the right way. I'm not gonna screw the bolt in. You guys can use your imagination. But like, voila. Like, maybe I need to actually screw that in in order to start it up. It's not turning on. Oh. Thank you, Tim, for showing up. Mm. 
Now it won't turn off. Okay. Lilu. So, I screwed this one back on. Because, why not? So, my eyeball itches. And it needs to stop. So, this one has a little bit more thought into it. You turn it on. It lights up all the way. Look at that. Look at that. It's just an LED strip on the side. So nice. Then there's a second button, that nice silver one. And that's like your effect button. Bam, 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 bam. I don't know it's a good way to show you. There it is. And if I don't touch it. And then you have it touch it, like, oh my gosh. So holding it down, you get that nice little like rainbowy effect. It's cool. It's so cool. It's nice. It's it really is. It's a good. It's a good one. Like we are Disney lightsaber collectioners. Collectioners is that a word? Um, enthusiasts. Okay, you can stop lighting up now. And this is a really good one for our collection. We're still gonna have our regular one because we're completists and we need them all. But being honest, if I, if I only had the money to buy one, I would go with the Hasbros because you get a little bit more bang with your buck. Um, and at Disney, you don't get your annual pass or your magic key discount on lightsabers. So what's the point? Like, oopsies. No, this is for the other one. Um, what's the point with, um, the, well, I don't know what I'm trying to say. What's the point with, ooh, that fits in there. That can get lost. What's the point with getting a lightsaber that there's a better one out there? But if you can only get one, I would get the Hasbro one. But if you can't get that one, Disney will do. And it's a great product. Like you can, you get the exact same features. You don't get the glowingness. No glow, but you know, that, that can change by just doing some DIY hardware. That's fine. Um, but display factors, if you're going to just going to display it, um, it works for just display. If you're going to cosplay with it, it works for cosplay. Like if, if you don't need all of this and you can't get all of this, that's fine. This one works just as well. So I might say I hate it, but it's pretty much, hey, what are you going to use it for? And what's your preference? So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Tell me, do you have a dark saber and which one do you like? Do you, which, which one do you prefer? Or are you like me and you couldn't get any of these so you 3D printed your own? which I'm not going to show you because um, I don't want to. But if you're interested in my 3D printed dark saber that I DIY'd all the um, LED lights and everything, um, let me know and I'll show you guys in a video. All right. Bye.